Hey, what is up guys? This is Bo or Carl Hunga 712 and today I'm bringing you some pretty beastly gameplay using the shotgun here on uh, EVAC, some TDM. I think I end up dropping 24 or 25 kills. I only die like four times or something like that. But uh, anyways, I wanted to bring you guys some shotgun gameplay because when I first started playing Call of Duty, this is exactly how I played before I found competitive Call of Duty, before before I got to be the player that I am now. This is how I always played Call of Duty. I never touched any other weapons, so I thought you guys would like to see me going back to my roots here, just running and gunning with a shotgun, not really giving a shit where everybody's standing. As you can see there, I get sniped pretty nicely. But I uh, figured you guys would enjoy the gameplay. Like I said, I love running around with the shotgun. It's it's so satisfying. It's so fun. And you know, you know that the enemy team is just fucking pissed when you come through the door and just one shot them and drop them instantly. So, like I said, I think you guys will enjoy the gameplay in the background. But kind of wanted to tell you about a uh, little bit what about what I thought of the Black Ops 3 beta now that it's coming to an end here. We'll see if it gets extended another day. Uh, with the 486 million problems that the Xbox servers have had, I think it should be actually extended for another week because of how bad shit's been going. But um, if, it go if it's like the PlayStation was, it'll get extended for one more day, which would be nice. You know, I can't, I can't get enough of this game. It's, uh, I, I can finally say I think this year is finally we're getting back to the good old days of Call of Duty where, you know, you, I'm, I'm excited to come home and jump on the servers and you know have some fun and and this game has uh, really brought back my love of call of duty um one of my friends jesse that i play with you see him a lot in the in the background he's he said to me uh when we were actually playing this beta that you know this game basically if the flow is like black ops 2 and it really is the uh the movement's not that dramatic and you really don't uh, you're not jumping all over the map and you're being everywhere at once so it's not like that guys but uh Kind of like he said, you know, it, it it kind of brought a couple of the decent things from Advanced Warfare, if there even was any, and it basically balances that and makes this game, you know, very fun, very interesting, and something new to the Call of Duty scene. Uh, basically, you know, you can jump around, you can run on walls, you know, you can you can boost up, but it's nothing like the the boosting in Advanced Warfare. In Advanced Warfare, unless you were jumping all over the fucking place. Uh, you were at a disadvantage, you know, which it shouldn't be that way. You know, if I'm if I'm on a head glitch and I'm sitting there with an assault rifle and you're at range and somehow you jump, dash, slide, dive, and uh, belly flop in the air and basically kill me with a submachine gun when I'm positioned in a spot where I should kill you instantly every time, you know, you shouldn't be rewarded for that. And, of course, in, in Advanced Warfare, you were. So just to start, you know, right off the bat, like I said, this game is... The fun factor's there, the maps are fun, they're competitive, the guns, um, there are some balancing issues, but uh, Treyarch did end up balancing quite a few of the things in the beta, I'm sure they'll change a lot more, and I'm sure we'll see a lot more guns added, um, which also we heard that there's some rumors that the MP7, uh, there's a really powerful Super Bolt sniper rifle or something like that that'll be coming, uh, possibly the uh, the old Remington 870, which was probably my favorite gun of all time in Call of Duty to use from Black Ops 2. I tell you right now, you wanted to get on at night, piss some people off, put on throw on the 870 with lightweight and uh, dexterity, and run all over the map. You'll you'll piss some people off. But with there might be some more guns coming, so we definitely ha uh, have that to look forward to. Um, I'll also say with uh, with Black Ops 3. Um, you know, with the new ping meter at the pause menu, I think that's a brilliant thing to bring in. And then it also shows you if you have any packet loss or anything, which of course will that'll screw you up on the uh, basically the connection in the game. So that'll that'll show you, of course, you know, if anybody's lagging, if you're lagging in the lobby. Um, like I said, I can usually tell right from the start, especially when I'm running around with the shotgun. If I'm shooting you point blank range and getting hit markers, I can pretty much guarantee you that my ping's going to be over 100, which was the case in a few games. And of course, I click the pause menu and I'm, you know, at 108, 115, 130. So uh, that's that was a nice addition to the game. Um, I think, uh, like I said, I think competitively this game's going to be great too, as we saw. Uh, at one of the events, I think it was over in Germany, if I remember correctly, with Von der Haar and company here, uh, I don't know, about a month ago, um, with the new uh, save and uh, uh, basically 
basically you can save weapons or get rid of them or ban them ban them or protect them that's what that's what i'm looking for there the banner protect system so i think competitive is going to be really good this year but of course you know triarch's really good at balancing competitive and uh public match fun so definitely i'm looking forward to that the most of the uh the specialty weapons and the specialists aren't really i wouldn't call them overpowered sometimes they're annoying but uh you know they're are they they did a pretty damn good job balancing wise so, uh, like I said, I can tell you that's really going to be good in the next game. And just like I said, the, the biggest thing with Call of Duty that a lot of people don't realize, and like I said, this is coming from a competitive player, too, of Call of Duty. Call of Duty is based off, basically, Call of Duty sales do not come from the competitive scene or the competitive, competitive side of uh, gaming. Basically, people who buy Call of Duty buy it to get on, to have fun, you know, the, the weapons are fun to use, the maps are visually pretty, you know, it's it's fun to run around, run and gun, if you want to camp, you can camp. There's some, you know, there's all different kinds of equipment to use, whether you're a guy who's played this for, you know, five, seven, eight years, or if you're a guy that just picked the game up. And that's what, you know, that's what Call of Duty is all about. It's about getting on, having fun with your friends, you know, and enjoying your time. And uh, like I said, I think this year is going to be really good. I was very impressed. I was so happy that they brought us a beta to get all the kinks figured out and to get everything fixed before the, uh, the game is released here in November. So they'll have a couple of months to work on it. Um, and also I wanted to add, too, I think the paint shop and the gunsmith, uh, I think that's going to be really fun and really interesting. I think we're going to have a lot of cool emblems on guns and designs and stuff. So, like I said, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video today. I had a lot of fun uh, recording that for you guys today. I love running around with the shotgun. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you next video, and bow out.